that the process of having leadership quality in every and each one of you. If you believe that you are a leader, you'll become a leader. If you don't, it's up to you. I have no time for you. Identity is a part of our character. And very proud to have our deen as the cornerstone of our identity. Whether I'm a Christian or Muslim or Jew, I have to be very proud of my faith as a cornerstone of my identity. Never ever drop your religion. Never ever drop your values. Never ever be defeatist and say with the religious, religious, religious phobia, I will not call Jesus or Moses or Muhammad for advice. The identity is very important for us. We have to keep it. And the Islamic Reef is always <coughs> producing leaders and sending ambassadors, global ambassadors, globally. And Sharif is one of them. I'm very proud to have been working under the leadership of Brother Sharif. Very proud that Sharif is going to bring the values to other organizations. Values is not a talk. <coughs> values is not a lecture. Values is not a workshop. Values is practical application of what you do for the community. Value is submission to a community. It's raising your community on your shoulder. It's having a sleepless nights. Values is, as the Prophet Sallallahu was called, his manner was Quranic. Values are manners. Not a talk, not khutbah, not written book, which you can read about others. Values about impact. What impact you have done and left it behind. Don't ever talk about values without measuring your impact, without somebody else measuring our impact. But my message today to all of us, who are going to go ahead, in spite of the fact of Islamophobia, because we are not defeatists, we are not going to defeat ourselves, and we are not letting anyone to defeat us. We have gone through September the 11th, with head high, extremely high, I'm proud when people were wearing an underwear, having knee jerk yesterday. We didn't. We didn't. And they were not. And we keep going because we have a mission and we deliver it. And we have a mission to accomplish it. And we have a message that we will deliver, whether people like it or not. Let me take you in the technology. Technology? Yes. Technology? Yes. Technology? Yes. Give me your telephone. Any telephone, any telephone which is not used, or any computer, give me anything. Give me anything. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All the apps here belong to one scientist called Khawarizmi, who created algebra and algorithm. Him, 1,000 years ago, and we are following his footsteps. Because he was working for humanity, and he wanted to save humanity by his vision. And after 1,000 years of the algorithm, be proud of your history. Be proud of your culture. Be proud of your family. Be proud of your color, your tongue, your back, your background. This is one thing. Rather challenging thing which we need to fight. The IA is IA. Oh, AI. AI. <laughs> so they call it AI, I call it IA. So what? <laughs> Just because you read from left to right, right? I read, I read from right to left. Yeah. You read from left to right. <laughs> AI. 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 Yeah. AI. You know, once upon a time, in a book of truth, Allah said the heaven, the skies, and the earth were one piece. Then he torn them apart. Torn them apart. The sky became the sky and the earth became the earth. But to keep the sky up, this is a challenge, sister. I'm waiting for you. This is a challenge. 
to keep the skies up for the last millions and millions of years. How? Allah said in his book that I have been raising it with pillars that no one can see. Listen to this. I have risen these skies with pillars that no one can see. And no one will be able to see it. Can you see how big is the sky? Tell me, with the metaverse, with the computer system, with technology, measure the width of the skies. Measure the width of the earth. Measure the depth of the earth. Measure the height of the skies. And I challenge you that you will fail with all the technology. Because you don't have the knowledge which has been given to us in one book, the book of guidance, and you should be very proud of it. Scientifically, logically, morally, and historically. When we admit that we are, we love our prophets, all of them, from Adam to Jesus to Moses to Joseph, everyone. This is the pride which is in the book which we are talk about it. Tell me, how many leaves you smile? Come with me. Huh? Yeah, yes, of course, because they are very smart. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I'm going to, to recommend him to become a movie star. <laughs> Why do you go to university? What about you? I'm already a movie star. Uh, yeah, I'm, so <laughs> I'm already a movie star. You see, I've got the stars right. and the moon. <laughs> Um, the prophet and yeah. So when you look at this book, <laughs> well, now I'm going to convert them. <laughs> when we look at all this, actually with the metaverse, sister, what's your name? No, not you, no, not for you. What's your name? Me? Yes? No, 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 you, you, you. No, you. Sally. Front, huh? Sally. Sally. I'm honey. <laughs> when you look at it, can you imagine that these unseen pillars have been there for millions and millions and millions of years, holding up the skies, and you cannot see. It's in the middle of Oxford Street, in the middle of Argyle Street in Glasgow, in the middle here of Bristol Road, and you cannot see it. But it is there. This is the knowledge. Get the metaverse system to go through the pillars which Allah created to keep the skies. And this is something you need to know. This is something you need to know. The technology of the art of the creation of the universe. The technology of the art of the creation of mankind. The technology of the art of the creation of the beings. All the beings. And this is our message. Be very proud of your humanitarian values. If somebody else has a different humanitarian values, tell them, peace be upon you. Where's your gun? You look like me. <laughs> very good. Can I take a photograph with them? Can I take a photo? Someone with take a photo. <laughs> He will make me famous. So, 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 so why I'm here, as Wasim said, he mentioned something 22 years ago. I took no notice of it. It happened. Sometimes the Creator listen and look. Listen to what we say and look what we have in our hearts. And if what we say matches what we have in our hearts, definitely you will get what you want. That's actually what you need to do. Last week I was with Wasim, with Osama, with what was the Tufayl, Mr. Yasmin. Uh, so Afan yes. and uh, Mr. Shaheen Mr. Shaheen and others in London the award is not mine and I said it and I mean it 
and my wife decided to bring the award to Islamic Foundation, not to be kept in my house. And this is a decision. And all what I have in my house will be brought here. Because my wife said, may I love this here, let it to be in the institution. So generations will see it. The nation will recognize it. The nation will learn from it. What are these doing in our house? Decoration, so what? It belongs here. And you manufacture a wardrobe. What, what wardrobe? Or a glass, glass. Uh, huh? Wardrobe is good. What's good? Yeah. Or Our closet. Or something. To put all these plaques, and each one of us in this room, if you have been awarded something, bring it here. It belongs here. It does not belong to the house. The last of my talk with my new discovery. <laughs> you are trying to replace Mel Gibson. He's here. He's here. Get Gibson. He's Mel Gibson. You are going to replace him. A Muslim should not keep doing the same thing every day. If last of day is like today, that means it is disgraceful. It should not be the same. The system of the universe is stable, but the action of man is changeable. And our contribution to respond to every change at every second and everywhere. So don't ever say that we we'll do the program. Fine, what's next? Fine, what's next? Fine, what's next? Fine, keep the what's next on the table all the time. Because the universe is stable, but actually the what is the needs of the individual, the needs of the plants, the needs of the trees, the needs of the, uh, the mountains, the needs of the sea, the ocean, the land, the every creation is changing. That's what we have to, we have to meet all these changes. That's why we cannot be good believers in what belief we have in our days like tomorrow or our tomorrow like yesterday. Never do it unless we'll be disgraced by the Lord. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. So do what is the people need. Do what humanity needs. Do what creation needs. Do what your subconscious needs need to do. And this is our message to Allah. May Allah bless you. And now our brother. <coughs> not now. <coughs> now just what I'm saying. What I'm saying. <laughs> not now, it's now. <laughs> and uh, no, 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 no. I'm, I'm not going to break the, the program. Very, very honored to be with you. And John Wayne. What what are you? I'm a seaman. Thank you very much. Thank you.